I want to send a shout out to Jim Dolan, who came by, owner of the New York Knicks, and came by to see me, which is, means a great deal to me because he was gracious enough to let me out of my contract to come home and coach this team. And, and I have nothing but love and respect for the man because he's, he's, he's special, special to me. All right, I'll open it up for questions. Yeah, Coach. Uh, the zone you went to, obviously, kind of decided the game. What led to it, and, and why did you think it was so impactful? We couldn't stop their step-up pick and roll. And uh, had we continued down that path, where and, and Malik probably would have fouled out of the ball game. So it was the right thing to do, and it probably maybe caught them a little off guard because I don't normally play zone. We hadn't really worked on it a whole lot, but um, we were aggressive enough, and, and we rebounded out out of the zone, and that helped. You know, I mean, it does you no good to play zone, and they still get offensive putbacks. Mike, you mentioned um, Jim Dolan saying hello. Did he offer any comments on your team? Kenny just said he offered encouraging words on Louisville. Well, you know, he just wished me well. Yeah. You know, what I mean. And, I wouldn't expect anything less than that. I mean, he was great for me. He really was. Mike, I guess about the zone number one, kind of how long have you at least maybe had the bones of that in with your guys? How long have you been working on it? No, we've had, we put it in early uh, where we would go 2-2-1 two, two, back to a 2-3 zone. So it's always been in our back pocket, but it, you know, I just never felt the urge to, to pull it out because I'm still trying to get our man-to-man -man defense where I, I, I need it to be. So, But it, it helped us tonight. And, uh, some of the zone guys in there, they are really happy tonight. I guess just rebounding out of it, when you're able to put those big bodies around the rim, does that mitigate maybe some of the, the normal concerns you'd have rebounding against the zone? Sure, because you know a lot of the fours and maybe some fives are playing out on the floor in college basketball. and. So when the shot goes up, a lot of times, you know, you, you're not in position to rebound. And I'm not using that as an excuse. You know, I just think our guard have got to pick up more rebounds. Caleb Banks, our bench was phenomenal tonight. Caleb Banks, I thought, played extremely well. He had eight rebounds, and I think three, four assists, a couple of steals. I mean, I mean we're going to need that. Woody, just over the next month before you get into the guts of Big Ten play, what do you need to see in terms of McKenzie's evolution so that he is a regular contributor for you guys during that? Again, he's a young player, man. I mean, all of you guys expect him to be this great player right now because he's got this five-star tag on him. And, you know, I think that's bullshit. You know, the bottom line is he's still young. He's trying to learn the college game. And... I thought he played well and he's forgot two early fouls and and so I took him out and brought someone else in, Caleb and CJ, and they came in. It's a team sport, man. Right? I mean he'll he'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Mike, it, an up and down weekend for you. What's your biggest takeaway? You know, yesterday was toughness, but as you kinda of look at a box, this whole body of work, what's your takeaway going back to Louisville? Well, you know, I told our guys before the game, UConn, you should really look and pay attention to UConn and how they played last night. There's a reason why they were national champs. And so I tipped my hat off to them, but I also tipped my hat off to our team because we bounced back. I mean, we got beat by 20 last night. and You could easily go the other way. And, you know, we led in this game, and they came back, and Kenny did a hell of a job of getting them back in it. And then the zone saved us, basically. We made the plays coming down the stretch. All right, we've got one, two, three. Uh, Malik had adversity yesterday. He was pretty emotional in the press conference about letting his team down. Then had four fouls today and made some huge plays. How important was it for him to get through that adversity? Well, again, I mean, he was in foul trouble tonight, again. You know what I mean? Their guards, they put so much pressure on you at the rim and getting getting downhill, man, it's, it's tough to keep them in front. And I tried trapping a couple of times and 
And then Big Fella Ware picked up his fourth file. So, you know, we had no choice but to, to go to a zone and to try to keep Big Fella Ware and, and Malik in the ball game. Uh, there were a lot of runs tonight from both sides. Where did that momentum come from, especially offensively, to make that final push at the end? Well, the zone helped us. I mean, we were able to give them one shot, rebound the ball, and we came down and Malik made a bucket and the rest were fouls. I mean, we, we were trying to get the ball in because we were in the field. Coach, you kind of alluded to it a little bit earlier in talking about Caleb Banks and really your whole bench's impact, but in the foul troubles played in that a little bit too, but getting those contributions from Banks, from Anthony Walker, what does that do for your team going forward? Well, you know, I like to think that, you know, we, we'll, we'll learn from this game, continue to grow. You know, Big Peyton was great for us. You know, CJ was great. I mean, the whole game, everybody that played tonight contributed. And that's how we got to play the rest of the way. I, I got here and then I got you. I guess to follow up on Caleb specifically, just what does it mean when he can impact the team without scoring in, in the way he did much tonight? Well, again, everybody can't score the ball. I mean, if it was that easy to score, man, we'd be running away with games possibly. But it's not, not that easy. He's still learning. He, but the fact that he rebounded, he defended, and, you know, he got a couple steals, F three or four assists, that's making an impact when you come into the ball game. So I, you know, I tip my hat off to him because he's patiently been waiting to play probably more minutes and probably played more minutes tonight than he's played since he's been here. Woody, I think the big question a lot of people have out there is yesterday three for 13 from threes, today just one of 11. What, what do you have to do to, to get that better? Keep working. That's all you can do. Keep working. And hopefully something triggers that they make threes. The bottom line is what I look at is we won. So that's what I look at.